Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will share with you some unique tricks that have been created by combining plastic bottles with PVC pipes. As you can see, the washing machine of the man in this video is experiencing issues. The water supply to the machine is too little, causing it to not function as well as he desires. What solution could solve this problem? Let's wait and see what ingenious idea this creative young man will bring. Firstly, he brings a large PVC pipe segment. He uses a cutting machine to cut the pipe according to the marks. Now he has two PVC the end caps and a connector. He uses a drill to create a hole on that PVC end cap, assembling them together. But he doesn't stop there. He also attaches additional plastic pipe segments and various connectors. Can you guess what he's constructing? Up to this point, I still can't quite envision what this man is making. Oh, at this moment, our creative guy wraps Teflon tape to install water valve. I'm really curious, wondering what he's creating. Do you remember the second end cap he drilled earlier? Following the same steps, he attaches a connector between the two end caps. Applying glue to the larger PVC pipe segment from earlier, he attaches the two end caps he just fabricated to both ends of the pipe. To ensure they are firmly attached, he carefully uses a rubber mallet on the pipe's end. Turns out, this is a water container. Looking back once again, now he will bring it to the side of his washing machine. Marking the positions where he wants to hang the structure, he drills holes in those spots and uses screws and flexible pipes to create a stable fixture for the container. Disconnecting the hose connecting to the old water valve from the washing machine. You will now connect it to his new water valve. Next, he connects a hose to guide water into the newly created container. We can see that after moments of effort, he has now built a supporting system for the operation of the washing machine like this. He unlocks the water valve and behold, his washing machine is now receiving sufficient water. It can operate well once again. Oh, it's raining. And the runoff from his roof is carrying many leaves and dirt along with it. While this is an issue that many families are facing, don't worry, this guy has come up with an idea. Just be patient and follow our video. He will let you know what he's going to create with this 20 liter water container. Firstly, he places a large PVC pipe segment on the bottom of the container and traces its dimensions. Using a specialized drill, he drills holes into the bottom of the container. Turning the container horizontally, he peels off the labels on it. Continuing the process, he drills two more holes on the body of the container. Marking a circle on the upper body of the container, he uses a cutting machine to cut it out. But don't throw it away yet because after completing this trick, he will continue to use it. Next, he places the container on a perforated metal sheet and cuts the sheet to the size of the container. Continuing to cut the sheet into a circular shape like this, bending the square pieces around the circular shape upwards. Using a self-made compass, he draws a circle in the middle of the metal piece and then uses a cutting machine and pliers to cut the middle part of the metal piece into triangular shapes. Turning the perforated metal piece over, he uses pliers to bend the upright triangles and then the shears help him cut off a part of them. Placing the large PVC pipe segment on top of the perforated metal piece, he uses a hammer to firmly secure them together. Not only that, this guy also carefully uses hot glue to ensure that they are tightly attached to each other. Next, he places a pen on top of a paint can. Utilizing the height of the can, he marks a circle around the water bottle that has been drilled. Retrieving the tool he just crafted, he threads it inside the water bottle. The nail firing tool will be his helpful assistant in this case, securing them back together. 
Now he brings over the pre-shaped PVC pipes and inserts them into the holes on the can surface, ensuring a firm reconnection. He uses candle wax and the nail firing tool to accomplish this. For the skillful hands of passionate craftsmen, tasks demanding such meticulousness pose no challenge. We can see that he always pays attention to each small detail in his model. Next, he removes the house's drainage pipe. After measuring the size, he trims a portion of the pipe and connects couplings with reducer fittings. Now he positions the newly crafted model and marks the spot to drill holes on the inner wall. He adds two long threaded rods there. Can you guess their purpose? They will support the water container. Quite ingenious, right? Adding another coupling, he proceeds to show us a video demonstrating how this structure operates. Wow! As the water is drained, the model captures deep brides and leaves, a very effective water filtration trick for us. If you're intrigued, give it a try and let us know the results. Heavy rain fills his drainage trough with leaves, a nagging issue that needs an immediate solution. Let's see what creative solution this man will come up with. A Coca-Cola bottle. What will he create with it? He attaches an external PVC threaded connector and outlines its dimensions on the bottle. After cutting the marked area into a circular shape, he screws the connector in and secures them together with candle wax. He adds pipes and connectors. And not just that, he also attaches pipes to the bottle neck. Can you guess what he is currently crafting? I believe that if we haven't seen how it operates, we won't know its purpose. At this moment, the skillful guy has taken the model he just crafted up onto the roof. After drilling holes in the drainage trough, he installs pipes and uses glue to secure them together. Isn't that fantastic? A simple trick that can prevent our roof gutter from ever clogging. I think this is a very useful trick every household should have. So, don't hesitate. After watching our video, go ahead and create one for your family, and don't forget to share the results in the comments section below. In the next tip, this man will share how he makes these corners of his carpet look neater. Using a thin piece of cardboard, he employs double-sided tape to attach the cardboard to his carpet. Continuing with a card, he edges the carpet to align perfectly with the wall corner. Now all he needs to do is flip the carpet over and cut the carpet along the edge of the thin cardboard. That's the trick done. Isn't that great? He has treated the corners of the carpet perfectly. Oh, this guy wants to use his saw to cut off a fixed screw from the wall. But no matter what he does, even after removing the saw blade from its fixed frame, he can't cut the screw. What should he do now? His solution starts with a piece of wood. He places the saw blade onto it and secures both ends of the blade to the wood with screws, curving the saw blade into an arch like this. This trick is really straightforward, right? And now, I sincerely thank you for paying attention. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to watch the latest and most interesting videos from us. See you in the next videos.